Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally back with another video. I know I've been MIA recently and that's because I've been moving, I've been setting up my setup, I've been painting walls, just get everything ready for um, setting up my new location, you know? So I'm finally back with a video and today I'm gonna be doing a full first impressions on BH Cosmetics, including their new foundation, the Naturally Flawless BH liquid foundation that they just came out with so that's what we're gonna be doing today before we get started Go ahead and subscribe down below so you never miss a video and let's get started So no one really talks much about BH cosmetics and when I saw that they came out with like a new foundation and I've never tried Most of their stuff like the only thing I've tried is their contour palette right here So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a few things and just make a whole video on it So this is that video. I'm gonna go ahead and start with foundation primer. It's called the BH studio pro they don't have a lot of options. This is like the only primer that they have on their site. Oh, it's tinted. It says blend a pea-sized amount onto the skin over moisturizer and under foundation or complexion makeup. I didn't use moisturizer. Oh well. Okay, I used a pea-sized amount and there was like not a lot of coverage. And it's also tinted, which is kind of weird. I've never seen a tinted primer before. Just saying. Let's go ahead and rub that in. Okay, the tint kind of went away as I was rubbing it out. It almost feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel tacky or anything. And I sometimes like my primers tacky, so we'll see how it holds up. Now I'm gonna go in with the foundation, and I bought two shades. I bought Toasted Almond and Ivory Beige. Picking out my shade online was kind of hard, like, it was kind of hard. So this one is Toasted Almond and this one is Ivory Beige. Honestly, they look way different online, like through the pictures. So I'm glad I got two, because I don't know which one I'm gonna use. So Toasted Almond is my color and I just made a huge mess. It's a pump, just like this one right here. However, when I pulled it out, I guess I broke the pump because it literally comes out like this. I also bought their latex-free hypoallergenic odor-free usable wet or dry BH Studio Pro sponge. It's a little bit harder than um, my Real Technique sponge, but we're just gonna work with it. As for the foundation, let's see what it says. Okay, it says the lightweight formula imparts a natural looking satin finish and provides medium to full coverage. So this is not gonna be matte and I didn't realize that because I'm like a fan of matte foundations i don't know how i feel about like satin or anything like that but we'll see i also don't know how much i'm supposed to be using i'm gonna go ahead and take the beach cosmetics sponge that i got and just blend all of this out right off the bat i'm not really liking this sponge at all it's taking up most of the product or is that just me so i think the sponge is a no-go for me i'm just gonna go ahead and use my real technique sponge and just blend everything out a little bit better for first impressions honestly i didn't like this beauty blender or whatever you want to call it i felt it's like too harsh like compared to my real techniques blender and the foundation it says it's supposed to be medium to full coverage and honestly it just looks like light like i have acne peeking through and i did put a few layers of it on i don't know if i'm just I don't know. So I will try this maybe another time, but as of right now, as of first impressions, I'm not really liking it. Now that the foundation is done, I usually go ahead and go in with my brows and I'm gonna be using their HD brow pencil and let's see, and this is in the color, crap, what color is it? Okay, it doesn't say the color. Oh, Ebony. And I picked Ebony because my Anastasia Beverly Hills one is Ebony. I'm not even sure if they're the same color, I just thought because they have the same name, maybe it'll work. So I went in with this one. This long wearing pencil features an ultra fine retractable tip to fill in gaps. I'm just gonna take this and start filling in my brows. Okay. So I actually really like the brow pencil. It does fill in my brows really nicely and spooling on the back is perfect. It looks great so far. I'm liking it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer. Hopefully this is my right color. This is the Total Coverage Concealer and let's see, this is in the color 100. <laughs> 
pray for me. Let's make sure it works. This is what the tip looks like. Is that not weird? So we're just gonna push it and apply it to the face, I guess. This is like super light online. It looked a little bit darker than this, but I guess because like I can't match my foundation with my concealer, obviously. This is supposedly um, a full coverage concealer, hide imperfections, neutralize discoloration, and brighten your complexion instantly with our Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. Let's blend it out. So I just blended that out and it does, it obviously it's a little bit too white for me, but it does look a little bit cakey. Like as soon as I start blending it out, it just looks cakey like you can see my lines right under my eyes i don't know it's just a little bit weird i'm just gonna go ahead and set this down with some setting powder i didn't see any online so i'm just gonna use my number seven setting powder and hope that this helps the cakiness and kind of like dry it up a little bit So while that's baking, kind of, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with like a little bit of bronzer or contour. And this is not a first impressions. I've had this forever. This is my contour palette. And um, I know this is still online though because I just saw someone buy it. But I've had this since like I started using makeup and I absolutely love it. Like I will not go buy the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette because I have this one. And it comes with 10 shades. 10 shades and it goes from very light to deep 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 and this is great because you can use like this as a bronzer or a contour um you can use this as like an under highlight it's amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and take one of my beach cosmetics brush this is from their pink set and i'm just gonna go ahead and use this color right here because this is perfect for contour or bronzer for me just depending on how harsh i want it so i'm just gonna take this one So there's that. I absolutely love this contour palette. It's like my favorite thing ever. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take off that setting powder, just see what it looks like. Hopefully that helped the concealer a little bit. Okay, yeah, I do think it helped. I'm still not sure about it though. I don't know if maybe I should try again another day and just use like a little tiny bit of coverage because maybe I did put too much on and maybe that's why it's cakey. I'm not 100% sure, but eh, it's all right for now. Also, so I purchased all of this stuff in one order. So I guess if you purchase like a certain amount of stuff, you get like a free item and they choose it for you. I'm not big on them choosing it for you. Like I wish they had like options that you could choose from, but still you get something free. So they gave me the Midnight Affair 16 color eyeshadow palette. And it's mostly just purples, which is why like I wish they would have let me pick because I'm not huge on colors and stuff, but at least this will get me out of my comfort zone. So I'm just gonna use this and create just like a, a little look real quick. I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics blending brush from the pink set and i'm gonna go into let's see there's not a lot of transition colors so i'm just gonna start with dark let's go in with this color right here actually gonna take some of this concealer put it on a little bit of my eyes just the excess that's on the tip of this and then i'm just going to blend that out for a primer Now I'm gonna go into this deep purple right here and blend that into the crease as well. I'm gonna go into, let's say like this color right here. I don't even know what kind of color that is. And I'm actually gonna use the setting spray that I bought from them and spray my brush down. Okay, so I was not a big fan of the eyeshadow. I had some blending issues, some pigment issues, but I was still able to create a look. So it's not terribly horrible, but it's not the best. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some highlighter. I didn't see that they had any on their site. So I'm just gonna be using my Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter and a Morphe brush. This is the M554 brush. And I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks.
And that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and try on some of their lashes and mascara. I got their lashes in N102. There's lash glue already included. And I took my duo glue just in case, but I guess it comes with it. And I'll also be trying out the BH Cosmetics Bliss Lash Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. Look how tiny this glue is. It's so tiny, I'll be able to use this for like two times. I'm going to go apply those and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyelashes are on. I didn't have a problem with the eyelashes. I mostly had a problem with the glue. Like the glue is black as can be. So if you accidentally get it anywhere, like it's black. So I would probably use my duo glue instead. And also like this glue isn't really sticking the lash to my lashes. So I don't know if this would last all day. And then I did attach them together using the BH Bliss Lash. And this I actually really liked. The wand is like super nice it's like it looks like it would help separate your lashes and i did apply it and it looks really nice i also applied it to my lower lashes i don't know if i would apply it again to my lower lashes i think that it makes it look too thick but i do like it on my top lashes now that that's done i did get some lip liner and some matte lipstick so i went ahead and got the lip liner in the color nude hoping it'll match the color clara in the matte lipstick so let's hope so this is the lip liner i just realized you have to sharpen this and i honestly hate the lip liners that you have to keep sharpening like no not for me but that's okay let's go ahead and apply this and then we'll go ahead and apply the matte lipstick So the lip liner is on. I did apply it a little bit towards the middle because I like um, filling them in a little bit towards the middle so it blends well with the matte lipstick. Honestly, that went on really nicely. I do like how um, precise it was. So that is a plus. I will probably be using this again and again. And this is the matte lipstick and it's in the color Clara. But this applicator is really nice. It just looks like any other matte lipstick applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Guys, I'm loving this color. It's so cute. And guys, these two pair so well together. Like the colors online are true to color in person. These go so well together. So if you're looking for like a good purple, mauve deep kind of purple, I would go ahead and use the matte lipstick Clara and the lip liner nude. And for the final step, I'm going to try out their makeup setting spray and this is the only one they had online. It says after applying makeup, shake bottle well and hold 8 to 10, itch it, ugh, eight to ten inches away from your face. Close eye and spray on evenly 4 to 6 times in an X and T motion. So let's do it. Okay, so it's actually very light. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like anything, honestly. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, let's go ahead and spray it on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, when you're spraying it, spray it a little bit farther away because this actually was a little bit harsh on my face and I was just like, ah, too much. All right guys, this is the final look. Looking back, my foundation doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation, but more of a like light to medium coverage. And this is again, their new BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. So I'm probably gonna be trying this out again, just see if I like it or not because I'm kind of confused here. There were some misses, some hits. Again, I'll be using the lip liner, the matte lipstick, the eyebrow pencil, the mascara again, because all of those things I really liked. It's basically, you get what you pay for. Everything here is super affordable and all of the prices will be listed down below. So if you want to see that, check the description box. But yeah, we are done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe down below so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.